What you're seeing now is an unprecedented moment when the police decided to join the protesters in the name of democracy. This video is a global call to everyone around the world. Together we have the power to help the people of Myanmar. On February 1st, early in the morning, Myanmar military detained the president Win Mint, the state councillor and other senior democratic leaders. This unexpected move was so sudden, the girl in this now viral video had no idea it was happening right behind her. It was history in the making, the clash of two realities. A girl happily dancing in the forefront and in the background, the military about to turn the whole country upside down. And so they did. After taking over by force, the military declared a one-year state of emergency and handed power to the armed forces chief. One year? Analysts believe this man wants to be president. And this is especially concerning because he didn't get any approval from the nation. Quite the opposite. It was very recently that in Myanmar the overturned Democratic Party won the elections by 83%. Soon after that the military, which had ruled Myanmar for so long, claimed there was widespread election fraud. Until now there is not enough evidence to prove and a fraud, but none of this stopped the military from taking power by force. Right now the ruling Democratic Party's headquarters got raided. The president faces charges for allegedly violating coronavirus protocols and worst of all, of course, an internet ban is preventing Myanmar's people from speaking out. But we should all know the moment anyone bans the internet to silence the voice of its citizens, it's in our hands to come together and help them. Because the power of the people has to be greater than the power of evil forces. No matter if you're from Myanmar or not, this isn't wrong on a national level, this is wrong on a human level. We simply cannot sit silently and ignore this immoral claim of power. The least we can do is to share this video and help prevent anything like this from happening again. To join tens of thousands of people in Myanmar who have protested in the streets, who continue to fight against military dictatorship. They are out there risking their lives for their basic right to be free. Night fam. Truth is, the state councillor has been criticized in recent years for defending the military during the Rohingya crisis. Now, the same military that she protected has turned against her. But this is not about that. This is about democracy. It is a call for millions of people in Myanmar who will suffer the consequences of being controlled by the government they did not choose. People like them are the reason Project Nightfall exists. We are the voice of those who are being silenced. The voice of those on the other side of the wall. The voice of those who need us. And right now our friends in Myanmar truly need us. Because we we should always come together to say a loud no against those who try to kill democracy.